I actually liked it better than in person. I thought that he learned more than in person. I liked the drawings and um, the fact that he can see what he's doing wrong. I'm Aaron. I've been coaching for, I'd say, two years, and I'm 11 years old. I love it. How did you guys find out about me? Instagram and stuff like that. Mostly my sister. Mostly your sister. Cool. Is yeah. she older, younger? Older. Older. Does she play softball or anything? She does softball. Cool. How, how did you find out about me? Was it also through your daughter? So she would watch your videos and give him advice. And then we would go on and watch your videos. And then one day we're like, well, let's just look on his website. And we looked and we're like, let's book a call. And then my husband was just very impressed with that first call that it wasn't even a question of Let's just do it. That's awesome. From your perspective as the parent, what were some of the main challenges that you were seeing Aaron experience as a catcher before we started working together? One of the biggest things was when he very first started catching a couple of years ago, he, I think he caught the ball wrong and um, hurt his thumb. And at first we thought it was broken because he hurt it. I mean, he went to his knees crying, right? Sorry, bud. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hurt um, bad. It hurt pretty bad. And so we were trying to figure out, like, he's obviously catching it wrong and just watching, trying to watch videos. And then he got more into catching. And then this year, he actually just started in March, right? Was it March? Yeah. He started on a travel team. His little league coach coaches a travel team. And he says, hey, why don't you come and try our thing? And we never did travel ball before because I just heard really negative things about it. So we tried this and he was actually the best catcher out of all of them with no training, just with doing it. And so we saw a need that we should probably be trying to do this right. And he really wanted to go above and beyond all the other catchers. That's so cool. that gave him motivation to stay on top. Yeah. Had you ever done any sort of online type of coaching or training or anything like that before this? Not no, at all. Not online. No. What was maybe your biggest hesitation about doing some online stuff, Megan? My biggest one was not having that face-to-face -face connection where you can manipulate his arms or whatever, that physical connection. That was my biggest concern. Yeah. Now, on the other side, how it was compared to what an in-person lesson was. What, yeah. How did you kind of explain that? I actually liked it better than in-person. I thought that he learned more than in-person. I liked the drawings and um, the fact that he can see what he's doing wrong. Because quite often we would tell him when we we're doing the videos, your glove isn't flat. And he'd say, yeah, it is. And so then we'd show him because from his perspective, he thought it was flat. And so you continually telling him that and it was you telling him versus us telling him he's able to see that versus one on one. You can tell him, but he can't physically see that he's doing something wrong. So that was my biggest plus. Yeah. Aaron, what would you say before you started was like your biggest challenge that you were running into as a catcher? I'd say probably blocking because I had a hard time predicting it and it was just hard. Like sometimes it'd be hard to get over to the right. Like I didn't know how to get over to the right for blocking. So yeah. blocking probably. Cool. Aaron, if you had to explain what the program was like to someone who had no idea what you did and you had to be like, this is what we did. What would you tell them? I would say uh, you basically... Go in your yard, you send Coach Bogey a video, and then you get the good news, the good critiques that you need to level up as a catcher and be the best. That's awesome. What was your favorite part of the whole thing, Aaron? As my mom said, I like to see what I'm doing in the lines and all that. Because you could say, like, if I'm hitting, I'm dropping my hands, but I can't see it unless I see a video. Right, right. How long would you say that it actually took you guys to practice every day? The shortest time would probably be five. The most is 15. 15. That's great. So it was actually in the window, that five to 15 minutes for you guys. Yeah. That's perfect. Aaron, what would you say now? What is the biggest difference that you would say in your catching? I, I just, I think I look better and smoother doing it. Like my stances look much better versus before uh, I didn't really know. So I kind of was just guessing what I was supposed to do. That's awesome. And Megan, what, what would you say? I think he uh, actually looks like a catcher now. 
I mean, not that he didn't before, but you can really tell watching other catchers that haven't gone through the program versus him, the way his feet are, the way he holds his arms, everything. It just, um, it's night and day from what he was before. And I'm actually interested for him to do that video again and compare the two because I've gone back and watched beginning video and it's just, I think it's really cool. It makes me excited to, for him to keep doing it. Yeah, that's so cool. If you had to describe, Aaron, the biggest difference in your feeling or your confidence, what would you say? Well, feeling, I feel more comfortable doing everything than before. Confidence, I feel very confident because I know everybody else isn't doing this. So I know I'm getting practice that other catchers aren't. What does that make you feel? That makes me feel pretty good because I know they're not doing it the right way, but I am. Yeah, that's pretty awesome.